what does it take right now to be successful in general aviation? Interesting and very broad question. I, I think that whenever people talk about what does it take to be successful, the first place that we should start is thinking about why we would be successful, about general aviation as an industry. And what I always tell people, and I really strongly believe, is that general aviation products have the potential to bring huge value to the individuals that buy the products, to the economy, the society, the world in general. I mean, this kind of mobility, this kind of flexible transportation, this kind of fun, really has a fantastic place. But obviously, we haven't seen that growth that many of us would expect. And so the question would be, are we right? Does it have this kind of positive future or not? If we're right, what are we doing wrong? Your question, what does it take to be successful? I think we need to focus more on customer value. We don't think enough about the customer. We tend as an industry to sit back and say, what we do is good for you and it's obvious and that you should just know it and you should choose to come to us. Instead, we, we really do need to do a better job of educating the people that are already in the industry and more importantly, the people that are outside the industry. We're a little too insular, we talk to ourselves. One of the things I love about this show is that Oshkosh is a very open, friendly place. We get a lot of people who come to Oshkosh who, while they have an interest in aviation, they aren't what we would say are part of the industry. They don't fly, they're not pilots, they don't do anything actively in aviation. But they have that passion. Someplace deep inside of them, they've said, I've always been interested in airplanes. And when they get here, they see the whole variety. Just about anything you could want to see in aviation, you can see here this week. But we still have to reach out beyond that. Here at Oshkosh, we need to greet those people better. We need to educate them. We need to make sure we don't ever treat them as if they're the uneducated. And then we need to reach out beyond that. You know, I'd love to see airports doing a better job of talking to their neighbors about why the airport is valuable to them. And we also need to remember that they don't need to learn to fly to be worth convincing. We need to educate them about why aviation is good for them, whether they're a pilot or not. We need the airports. The best way to educate is to demonstrate. Show people how fantastic airplanes can be. Take them for a ride in a J3 Cub. Go zip and cross country in a jet. You know, go fly a biplane. All this stuff is fantastic. And people just don't see that often enough. They don't get it. I often use it as an example and, and a, a day I remember very, very well, which is now 25 years ago, taking an attorney for a ride who had never been in a small airplane. And what we didn't do is say, let me show you how to fly this airplane. We just said, let's go fly around and have some fun. And in about one hour, we flew around an area that you couldn't drive in a day. It was a gorgeous blue sky, calm day, no turbulence, visibility of the horizon. And he spent the whole flight going, this is glorious, this is glorious, I never imagined it, this is glorious. And that kind of emotion, when you see that, you're going, oh, there's something here we're doing right. How do we package that? How do we communicate that to more people? If we do that, we can be successful. Obviously, there's all of the execution steps. There's all of the necessary financing. And each of these is a dilemma unto themselves. But it starts with communicate that joy of flying. Aero TV is brought to you by the DFC-90 all-digital attitude-based autopilot delivers significant performance and safety improvements over previous generation systems. Its innovative flight envelope protection guards against autopilot-induced stalls, and the straight and level mode provides one-button recovery from unusual attitudes for an added measure of safety. Immensely popular within the Cirrus community, the DFC-90 is now being made available for a growing list of aircraft including Piper Matrix and Mirage, Cessna 182s, and Beach Bonanzas and Barons. Fly with confidence. Fly with DFC-90.